we got a viewer question about the uh, digestive situation that we were just looking at. Are they eating dirt? Are they eating sand? What are these creatures eating? Is it okay to keep moving? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, let's get that moved back in. Kirk has an interesting view of the substrate. Some bizarre yeah. texture. Can we okay. move one zero zero meters bearing three three five? Thanks, Alex. Yeah, I think sea cucumbers digest, um, well, they intake sediment and um, extract what they can from that sediment as nutrients and pass it through their digestive system. I love zooming like this. This is so fun. Sea cucumbers must have pretty slim margins. Yeah, if they're just eating sand. Mm -hmm. Kind of spin back around here. Come on around to 315. Roger that. I think we just passed a stocked carinoid. I'm going to get sorted here, and then we'll go back to smelling the flowers. <laughs> What is, oh, that's just a shadow. Thanks for your great questions, viewers. You can add those on our website, or you can also learn more about Papahanu Mokuakea Marine Ste Sanctuary, where we're working. Steep there, so you'll have to get out in front a bit. Roger that. More delta than altitude at the moment. Okay. Same with me. Funk. All these wonderful pillow lavas. You can just imagine them being formed as molten magma, cooling and crystallizing and cracking. So we haven't sampled any sediments here. Uh, we. Tried a couple of times with push cores, but there just doesn't seem to be uh, the, the texture and the quality of the sediments needed to maintain that push core. I don't believe it. <laughs> it's also not necessarily the focus of the scientists that we have here on board. We got big chunky rocks of interest. We got squishy rocks of interest to Dr. Beth Orkut and then looking at these biological communities. Still looking straight down there. Yep. Still working on getting out in front here. Roger. Yeah, we're heading up the ridge, but we are in this little saddle and the saddles didn't seem to be the places that the communities are more sparse. Maybe as we get into a steeper uh, sloped area, maybe we will see some more coral and sponges. I'll speak, speak it and there it is. So what kind of minerals do you expect to find in that big old rock that we picked up for you a bit ago? Um, that is expected to be a basalt, and we would hope to have some plagioclase, and there would be some pyroxene, and... Um, That's a rock. There would yeah, hopefully be, well, dating some ground mass, which would be a whole bunch of the smaller crystals. Um, Potentially, maybe why, some olivine, but probably so uh, not. That's a um, great question. Yeah, so, so what was your original call in speed? 0.2. Great. Okay. So there's some, uh, there's some nice corals. Yeah, there's some Can nice corals. Can we go 0.2 knots? Again, on the rocks that jet out into the current. Hmm. Good catch, Gabby. Yeah, that was great. 
I don't know why he was doing 0.5. It's yeah, he was us. doing 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Yeah. yeah. I was like, why Why am I struggling so much to keep ahead? Like, I don't usually have to do that. He's going too fast. Yeah. So. Now that I'm learning to read it's Grafana, of, it's got quite a bit of sediment there. For <laughs> yeah, me. a little channel almost. Uh, yeah. River. Uh -huh, river of sediment. Could we get lasers back on, please? Lasers on, aye. Oh, yeah. Argus view. Do we have ripples? Yeah, we have some ripples oh, there. That is a better ship speed. Okay, there will be yeah. more flowers to smell from now on. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's such an interesting little feature here. Looks yeah, like a little, little like herd path. Yeah. yeah. Little sea cows like walking up and down it chewing <laughs> their head. Sea cows, sea pigs. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you know, all the all the farm animals. Sea goats. Sea, sea chickens. Oh, we saw some sea dandelion the earlier. Stalk so. of a sponge. Yeah, yeah. stalk of a sponge. I'm pretty sure that tuna is the chicken of the sea, though, right? So oh, right, right. Yeah. I don't think there's tuna this deep. Neat. I want to adjust the ship move, so we're going directly north. Does that? That's great. That for me. goes with what you were trying to do, I believe. Yeah, I keep ending up yeah. down around to the north. I've been watching. <laughs> <laughs> Can we move five zero meters bearing three six zero? Mm. There's an eel right eel. in front of you, yeah. Oh Thank nice. You. Nice spot. They're such shadowy creatures. He wants to be in the shadows. Zoom please. I don't know if we're gonna get him before he before he shadows away on us. I don't blame him. Okay, you can go wide. Till Argus slows down, I'm gonna keep moving. These beautiful stacks of basalt here. Oh, this is great rock. Yeah, it's beautiful. Very so ledgy. It yeah. almost looked like yeah. a cave on the left there. It yeah. did look like a cave, yeah. So would those be different flows over time that layered yeah, they, on top of each other? Yeah, they look like they're stacked layers of flows or, um, yeah, so they're stacking up on top of each other. And you could kind of see how um, the stacks were formed. It looks like a, a black, black coral. coral. Yeah, that we're going over. So we're getting a great question from a viewer in California. Are communities different on different sides of a seamount similar to a rain shadow effect that you might get on land? We have noticed that the communities um, are different on different sides of a ridge. And we think that's in association with the current direction. And so um, when the current interacts with the ridge in a way that um, makes the best premium conditions for sponges and corals, we see that's what we think is generating the areas that are most dense and have the highest diversity. We don't know what the exact variables of that are, but um, there does seem to be a difference and a preference of these organisms to occupy areas where the current is just perfect. I don't think you're uh, D uh, DBL and USBL are quite jiving here quite off to no, the they, uh, west. Yeah, they've been I off for a bit. Yeah. We can do a reset. Yeah, we could. Yeah, let's do that. The main reason I wasn't staying in the box was because I was just getting distracted. It wasn't the, it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> you the really instrumentation. Had something to blame. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks, Dan, I appreciate that. Uh. Oh, it's a sponge. Um, I mean, oh, fix a little the sponge. Doppler. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> so that's the first sponge we've seen Off in a to while. the left. Oh, okay. Off to the left there? It was yeah, uh, to sure the left, a little sponge. Oh, we've got another one ahead. Can I go to the one that's in front uh, yep. of us instead? Yep, yep. Uh -huh. Some manganese nodules there, some current ripples to the right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe a Dr. Zeus there. Yeah, I think so. 
I really like that my name for it has caught on. The Dr. Seuss. Yeah. Black Coral and Chrysogorgia. So we are getting some more organisms here, yeah. but I don't no, know, uh, should we drop a pin for like the first sighting of sponges in a while? I don't know if that's important data. We can always drop a pin. They can be deleted later. Okay, yeah. Let's just say we saw two sponges. And which What's we off to the left before? there? It's a stalk that has been munched on maybe. Like a or is it just a skeleton of a sponge? sponge, I think. A Walteria sponge, It just maybe? looked like some striping that I hadn't seen. It's just shadows, I think. <clears throat> Video, you can zoom. Bridge now. Yep, just a skeleton. Okay. Go ahead. I'll stop, please. Elateris back there, Iridogorgia to the right. Thanks, Kate. You're welcome. We are getting pretty laid back from that um, from that whole moving quickly episode. I mean, <laughs> for me wandering <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, Thanks for laughing. Oh. Kate. <laughs> What's oh, up? Oh, beauty. Oh, yes. Beauty. <laughs> right. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. What were you counting there? The spirals. That's a nice distance for the light. Oh, yeah, cool. Laser's off. Thank you. A beautiful design from Mother Nature. Every time I see this, I think yeah. that same thing. Every time I see this, I think that I really want to get a view straight down the spirals. Yes. <laughs> Which go. I got it. Here we oh, go. I got it. Here go. we go. <laughs> Here's the money shot right here. <laughs> it also makes it move, though. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, onward. Mesmerizing. We're still, we've got a long swing sort of with Argus here. Sure. Cool. So we got a question about those manganese nodules. Because they are formed from precipitate, are they, are they rocks? Are they like very hard rocks or are they more no, soft? They're, they're actually a little bit softer. Yeah, they're softer and they crumb, are more crumbly. So when you... Um, if you hold them, they turn your hands black when they come up, and um, you can chisel them off, like with just a little chisel or, or a hammer, and they are more crumbly um, because they are precipitated underwater. Um, they're not like a cooled crystalline rock like a basalt is. That's a good uh, Argus target there. Argus target? Yeah, to your uh, north. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Up to the right. Yeah, Big yeah. Rock. I'm tracking what you're saying now. And we do have a sample of those nodules on board that we scooped up on a previous dive. It's this little guy. Do we think it's a cucumber? I think so. I think so. Yeah. It's pretty cute. Oh, yeah. That purple is just unmistakable. ROV, this is a different type of question, but do you have a CAD model of... Yes, you do. Yes. I wonder if we have a CAD one of the ship. It bothers me that these aren't to scale. Zoom. It's a good color. Yeah, really okay. nice. Yeah, there are CAD models of the ship. There are? Yep. Be a good project. Go north. Yeah, I mean, it's a big uh, In the high target pack, about 60 meters out. Side. You can change the ship size. Roger that. Right? Are you seeing that on? Say sequence? that again. CK. I was seeing it, and I'll drop back down. So some big, some red on Argus. Nice pillow lavas here. Somebody got the uh, sonars on the right sides. Was that you, Trevor? He's a wizard. His OCD just couldn't take I it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's Delta Dan pulling some pretty good views on the Argus cam. Are you guys good with another that north move? That kind of looked. Yeah, there was a. I don't see it now, but there was an interesting uh, 
like maybe a little pinnacle on. Uh, Dan, I think we might have a tether over Argus situation. Okay. What's the strategy here? I come up. Uh, just ignore it. It'll, I'll deal with it. Uh, I mean, uh, for future reference, I'd love to know. Spin my head and come up okay. with it. Little shrimpy with doing its his thing. Swimmer that looks free now. Swimmer reading. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing three five zero? That'd Just be a good watch name sometime. Swimmer. Keep you guys on yeah, the call absolutely. line. Absolutely. Yeah, I think we really lucked out with the tectonic turtles. Yeah, no, it was it was meant to be. It's interesting we don't see any life on these, you know. Usually we see something jetting out and not it's here. like some trails there. Mm -hmm. Maybe some sea cucumber trails. So one of our loyal listeners is asking is Hercules one of a kind, or are there lots of Hercules type ROVs out An there army roaming of around? <laughs> That's one of a kind, all right. It has a couple sister vehicles that were sort of built um, at similar at a similar time. One's at Woods Hole. One's in the UK somewhere. One's on the back deck called Little Herc. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh right, right, right. Um, but this is sort of a hodgepodge of a few different sort of sources, some in-house design at a few places. Is it based on an ISC vehicle? Uh, there's a few ISC components on it, the uh, thrusters and the uh, valve packs. You can go to a store and buy an ROV, but this is not one of them. You would not be able <laughs> to buy a Hercules. In fact, it's pretty hard to come across a vehicle from what I understand, that's sort of got the exact same specifications as Herc in terms of like horsepower and sort of capabilities. And Herc specifications change for every mission. Lots of swappable parts and uh, sample methods. You can learn more at the NautilusLive.org website. Just click on uh, science and tech and uh, you can click on ROV Hercules to See all about Herc. Also, there's some information on there about Little Herc. And Hercules is about 20 years old. So if he was a car, you could uh, drive him as a classic in a parade. But every year he gets upgrades. Lots of love. <laughs> so what's the best upgrade that Herc got uh, for, this, for this season? Seeking sonar. By far. That's the sonar between Gabby and I here. It's, uh, Can we get a zoom? Providing some great images to let us both know what's oh, 30 cool. meters out in front of Herc. Some of those polyps are super bright. The HD cameras also got some upgrades. They're, uh, they have a new... Um, Fiber optic, uh, uh, copper to fiber okay. optic converter. Let's skedaddle. Them. Where's that target again, or a target? Oh, you uh, see it? Argus, it's a little okay. yellow there. Mm -hmm. Yes, On I do. Channel three, you Let's can see that, that new sonar. Cliff action. There's a handful of these uh, type of vehicles on the planet, maybe about six here in uh, North America. What makes uh, these vehicles unique is they fly off of a 6.8 cable and uh, you could basically plug it into your house to power it. The, the bigger vehicles are in the hundreds of horsepower where you want to have enough power in your house to turn the thing on. 
So they're they're typically lower powered vehicles that operate off of a smaller research vessel as opposed to some giant oil and gas ship. So they're all all of them are are custom made to fit into that envelope. So Andrew, these pillow basalts, they, they're quite rounded, but could they be unaltered inside and give you information that you would be interested in? Um, they could be. Uh, it's just more likely that because they're in this same position and they've been constantly exposed in their smallest cracks that we cannot see um, to ocean water um, for 80 million years, they're likely, um, they're more likely to be altered. If, um, when we see the more angular rocks, they have probably fallen off a cliff face uh, or probably a result of some type of slope failure. And that slope failure um, allows rocks to bang into each other and some of them new rocks basically that have not been exposed constantly to seawater over 80 million years to be exposed. And so that's why they're more likely to be less altered. Go for Zoom video. I really like these very transparent corals. They can be hard to get to see. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like a lot of the polyps are either retracted or gone. Oh. I slipped, sorry. Those look close to me. You slip off your marble, did you? Yeah, I slipped off the marble. <laughs> lost your marble. Yeah, I lost my <laughs> one remaining marble. Okay. Well, if you need another one, we could pick up some manganese nodules for oh, you. Oh, yeah. We could replace them all with manganese marbles. Mm -hmm. So shout out to a viewer that just uh, let us know that they've been watching since they were in eighth grade, and now they're in college. Aww. That's Aww. amazing. So cool. That uh, makes me so happy. Yeah. And this viewer is telling us to keep up the good work. And I say yeah. right back at you, viewer. You keep it up, too. Maybe, uh, not sure what you're studying there in college, but maybe someday you can be a member of the Corps of Exploration as well. We do have college internships available on various expeditions as well. Zoom, please. Definitely another honorary turtle. Yeah. yeah. Honorary tectonic turtle. Honorary turtle right there. Okay. Go ahead. So we believe that this seamount, which is an unnamed seamount. Can we move one zero zero meters bearing three five zero? Oh, that guy got eaten a little bit there, maybe. Jeez, it just keeps going and going and going and going and going. <laughs> Come on, we need to finish this because I have to catch up. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I've got places to be, buddy. 30 meters out. So feature. Roger. So we believe that this unnamed seamount, southwest of Don Quixote Seamount in Papahanu Mokuakea, never reached the surface of the ocean, which means that all of these pillow lavas were formed underwater. What's that? A little oh, that's another, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're headed up this ridge. We're getting a lot of questions about why what we're seeing on this dive is so different than what we saw on most of the last dive. And the question is, is it because of the depth? We don't think so. We think it might be because of the currents, but that's exactly, that's the million dollar question we're trying to answer here. Is this the first track that we've taken north up up, up a seamount? 
I don't know, but that would be that's going to be something that we'll examine when we have the entire data set. That's something that Chris is thinking about a lot. As a matter of fact, he tried to plan dives um, along ridges, generally in a 360, if he could, um, azimuth pattern, trying to occupy all quadrants of um, northwest, southwest, right? Cool. Um, southeast, northeast just to see if there was a relationship or something that um, we can't identify. Uh, dive 1885 was the same kind of north, same aspect that we're taking today. Yeah, I was just looking that up. And what was the biological? Very similar. Very similar? Oh, a biological, um, yeah. Don't recall. I don't recall either. So depth is a variable that could be important, but the orientation of the ridge, as uh, Steve was asking, is this the first time we've gone north? The orientation, depth, current strength and direction. Chris is mentioning that it was a bit dry regarding animal life on that dive. Oh, so... I think yeah. it was the following one that we saw, Coral Canyon. Okay. Right, so in our small data set that we have here, we have two of these um, north-south ex extending ridges um, not being as fruitful thus far when it comes to biodiversity and concentrations of organisms. Sea star Stay with off to the right there. Six it won't. legs. Oh, yeah. Stay off to the right. What? If you kind of veer to the east a little, it'll keep the tether off of Argus. Okay. Sounds good. Very interested in that. Uh, can we get a zoom on the sea star? Yep. We sure can. Thank you. Looks like he was just standing on the front porch. Chilling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just leaning He's waving. You kids, get off my lawn. <laughs> I think he's just waiting for Christmas so that he can be on top of the tree. Does he have get six there. legs? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Weird. Yeah. Okay, let's have a zoom. What are you doing with all those legs, buddy? Let's see what the science chat has to say about that. Is there a set number of legs they usually have? I don't know. Five? Well, I always think of them as being as having five sections. Yeah. I mean, but some they will have many more legs. Yeah, some yeah. species have, you know, like the sunflower. Yeah. Sea star so has many, many. But uh, oh, there you go. Cool texture. Gonna get a little floppy here. Okay. You're coming wide? Yeah. You guys got what you need there? Yes. Yeah, I think okay. so. Great. What? You want uh, to stop him up for a minute, Kate? Bridge, Nav. Oh, I see what's Can on your mind, Dan. Can we come to an all stop, please? Yeah, you're coming yep. up the hill there. I got yep. More delta your than altitude. Your altitude is, yep. Roger. I'll hurry it up. So a great question from a viewer. If sponges and corals are animals, do they need oxygen? And is what is the oxygen down at these depths? Great question. Well, since you ask, the O2 saturation here is 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, the saturation was, is twenty two percent. That started out bold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe science. Thing we have an O2 sensor. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah, twenty two percent. Unfortunately they didn't put um units next to it, so right. I had to remember which one was which. Uh it's on Grafana somewhere. Oh, okay. All data or somewhere it? in there. I'm pulling yeah. it up on our um the high pack screen. Last three yeah, hours. Yeah, there's just no units. So I have like numbers and no units. It's about three milligrams per liter from Chris. And yes, the organisms do need to be in oxygenated areas. Ooh, what's this little ripply guy? Oh, he that moves a faster than I do. Looks like a shrimp. He has those I'm little sure I'm gonna be like a worm. Worm of some sort with oh, all those. Like a yeah. Is it something? a flamboyant worm? No. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. It's cool. Good eye. Yeah. Similar locomotion though for the those pulsating legs. Okay, okay. okay. On you oh. go. You guys are ready? Yep. Yeah. Read my mind. Wow. Man. You guys are on it. <laughs> yeah. Bridge nav. It got flat again. Ish. Can we move fifty meters bearing three five zero? I think Thank we can you. keep our eyes peeled for a angular rock again. Uh, since we're hitting a little flat area, we might get some debris. Again, it's all based on size. Uh, I like these periodic stops too, because like Argus is just not as far behind yeah. as it was a while ago when we were just like trying to crank through. Yeah, what's this guy? Oh, let me see if I can find a marble to balance on. Maybe this marble. Is that a crinoid or a sea star? Go for a zoom. I can't tell. Crinoid. Crinoid. Yep. Dan, can oh, you hit the lasers? Crinoid. Yeah, he's pretty. Roger. Thank you. Just another. So pretty. Yeah, very pretty. Love these guys. I got that. Okay, shall we? Mosey? So as we look for a rock here, we got a geological question. Where is the hot spot that produced these volcanoes now? Like, where, di where is it? Where did it go? Uh, well, we don't know yet, and that's one of the reasons why we are trying to date these um, volcanoes, these seamounts, to determine the um, what age progressive seamount track it might be associated with, so that we can, can I get a zoom video? follow the line of those seamounts um, to it, um, a plume that may have existed previously or might still exist. Delicate chrysogorgid of some yeah, type, beautiful. I think. Let's see what Chris says. Weird chrysogorgid. Yeah, the, 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 we might the, want to uh, sample here. Okay, can you stop? Bridge nav. The coral or yep. the rocks? Yep, the coral. Okay. I'll stop, please. I'll grab a marble. I'll pull up a marble. You were nice and close there. I could, you had it in bubble cam for a minute. Yeah, I was not on any marbles, though. I was just floating. It's a great view in Argus of Hercules getting in the perfect position to take a sample of this coral. You can check that out on uh, Sat Feed 2 or Channel 2 on our YouTube channel. You don't want to uh, look uphill a little more? Okay. Uh, I think... I will come around then. Snuggle your niskins up to that rock in Argus. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Anywhere in there I'll do. 
Say again? Anywhere in there, I'll do it. Planet okay. there. But these volcanoes weren't long ago. We think 70 to 90 million uh, years ago. So no active lava flows uh, right now, but certainly in the past and certainly at depth. Right now, the, the next Hawaiian island is being formed under the water and estimated to reach the surface in 10,000 to 20,000 okay, years. I'm going to have to hold this one. I will not be around. I yeah. don't bit, think I will be either. As long as you can hold it still. Yep. It's a front box or a side box kind of sample? I think one of those small side boxes. Right here. And we want to clip a nice piece, preferably with at least one branch point. Is it alright if I do a zoom with Argus? Sure. It's fine by me. I'm going to tilt you up just a little bit yep, here. Yep, roger that. I was expecting it. Can I uh, zoom in there, Steve? That's good. So maybe that, what, that whole portion of it that the lasers were just hitting, like that big left branch of it. Does that get us a branch? You, you want, want me to click on your auto head? Yeah, you could, we could try that. Auto head engaged. I think if we get that whole that help. Nope. portion that's branching off to the left, that'll be sufficient. I'll take auto head back off. Can we go wide, please? Wide. Sorry. It really is does not like the thruster wash. That may have been what was moving it before. Yeah, auto head killed it, sir. Let's just do the sample, try Dan. It, try a little uh, lateral, right? Maybe that'll pin it against the hill. Uh, yeah. I'm sort of trying to keep the rotation on. Let's just do the sample. Well, I, I'm, you have to be stable for me to clip the coral. So. Okay. Seem to be pretty stable there. Yep, do it. So who's going to be clipping? What's that? So see how it branches uh, right and left near the top? Yeah. So that whole left branch. Just the left branch? You don't want the right one? Yep, here, let me... Uh, He's going to show you here. This, uh, from... Do you see that? that yeah, we're not... Uh, we're still drifting around too much there, Gabby. You're going to have to. Yep. Roger. Hold still. Let me come down a bit more. Maybe that'll help. I don't quite understand why our balance here is so delicate. Like you moved the arm and we started to move again. You're probably on a rock, so it's pitching and rolling. If you look at your pitch and roll numbers there, they're bouncing around. Particularly yeah, I roll. guess the 20 meter delta is, we could come down in that. That's a good idea. Trying to come up and come around to your left some more. Okay. Come way left. around to my left turn to my left uh, if you're, you seem to be stable there for a moment yeah oh uh, come up let's try this again come up and bring yeah. your head 90 to the right okay you're, I'm on, gonna the, tr you're on the side hill there right? yeah I just got to try and get away without totally whacking this thing with thruster wash here 
Yeah, you're on the side hill, so come around on that rock there, maybe. Okay, I'll try that. So because we are in Papahanaumokuakea Marine Monument, we are subject to our collection mm -hmm. permit with them. So we're trying to be very mindful of where yeah. and what and how we collect. That's and why. Gabby, you see that coral on the, on the back end of I that rock? I do. Yeah. I will be mindful of it. I'm sure he's going to make you nervous. Yeah, if you just perch the front of your porch on yeah. the rock there. I'm going to... Uh, Put your camera down. I got it. So you can I got see your down. porch there. Yeah. So you'll have to be gentle on your verts. You might want to head on for that one too. Okay. Yeah, if I get auto ahead in here, it'll have a chance to settle out. I think it was just yeah. like being all balanced and engaging it was Come forward just a bit. Yeah. Put your porch on the rock there. See it in bubble? I can see it. There you go. Right there. Where'd our victim go? Oh, there he is. Uh -huh. Our victim. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, our biological, delicate biological sample. You good there? Seem to be stable? Uh, so far, so good. Get the arm out, we'll see what happens. Might be a bit far away. No. No, oh, I see it in bubble. You see there's that, Steve. Dan? Zoom. Yeah, zoom in there, Steve. That's good. Zoom in a bit more. So uh, it looks like it branches off right in here. That's where you want to clip it? You don't yep. want to clip underneath? No, that would get us the whole upper third of it, I think. So. I well, if that's, but if it's too hard to get in there, then yeah. Uh, it would be, yeah, I might get in through there with these jaws it might be doable looks like it i'll give it a try and see what happens Smaller. i might be able to give you a little bit more in bubble i don't need bubble okay stupid camera <laughs> <laughs> oh poor bubble i'm not sure bubble deserves that How else would you check your gauges once an hour, if not for bubble? Exactly. It's good for something. It is good for uh, hunting bubbles. Maybe that's where it got its name. <laughs> We're looking for methane hydrates so we can see them coming straight up. Wow, I think he got in there. It frustrates me because there is some latency in it. See, I have that the jaws and the uh, hose the right way around, right? Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, happy if I clip it there? Yep. Yep. Clipping. Well done. Wow. Very impressive. And there's some flowers just for you. Aw, her holding flowers. This one strikes me as being potentially floaty, Dan. Yeah, I think we'll do. Turn off that star. Once right you're, there. yeah, once, once you're wow. around. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's really incredible. Wow. Oh my gosh. You okay. have some scientists who are happy with your efforts in the science chat. I'll be happy when it's in the box. So, Dan, do you want you me can, to uh, zoom wait back till in you're on around? The coral there, Steve, if you want. See where we clipped it. Uh, no, you can disable it now. Okay. Okay, Steve, crazy things are going to happen here. We will not be able to keep that zoom. Okay. Uh, you you want to you go wide? Yeah. I'm wide. So I can keep some context. Sample salvo, Dan? Sure. 
vehicle made a liar out of me, Steve. Totally. <laughs> Everything seems perfect, and you're fine to go back to zooming. <laughs> you're barely pinned on that front rock there, so a late, super late, jabby Is landing. Uh, you want it in one of these little boxes here, I guess? Yeah, I think it'll stay in there. These snaggled teeth down in there. I got your tray in once you're once I'm you're gonna, set. I'm gonna go for a rear box here because it's see how the arm the shoulder was catching there. Yeah, that would have flown down in there and smeared it. Do you think it would be easier for you to use one of the bigger boxes? No. Okay. Asako says, happy coral day. Aw. Okay. Is it going to float? Trying to. Sink. Yes. Get down. Okay, sample tray in. Hold on. Oh. It's going for the stuff. I want to smear it. Beautiful. Okay. Nicely done. That was in D. D. D is in Delta. Beautiful sample, Dan. Thanks for helping me <laughs> set up again. That was a way better setup. Then yeah. balancing nice. on one po corner of the porch. Nice zoom in the meanwhile, too. Yeah. Getting some applause from the science chat. Yay. And some science puns, but we are not obligated to pass those along. What? <laughs> I don't know. Is that true? I think you might be. Okay. Well, that, they <laughs> no. think that was some we kind of new chrysogorgia, so Chris says it's Christmas Day. <laughs> Um, let's reset the DVL before uh, we get going. Okay. What's up? I um, have four, no autos on. Six. You may reset away. Done and Five done. And and so we're on a hunt for a rock whenever we get some, uh, some energy to focus. We have about 45 minutes left on this watch, and then what? we will be handing you off to our friends on what the 4 to 8. Watch? I don't know. It just disappeared. It really First, did. They well. keep doing that. All that blue water time. So we're getting a, oh, a question about how we know where that sample location was if we ever want to come back. So many ways. <laughs> <laughs> Let me count the, let Kate count the ways. <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain the one way and then I'll let Gabby jump in. <laughs> this looks like a potential rock field up here. Does um, this look, anything look good here? With each anybody? sample, we, re we record the latitude, longitude, good and for me if it's good for depth. Gabby. And we also have a pretty great positioning system with the USBL and DVL. So usually generally pretty accurate within a couple tens of meters for to be able to return. So do you, um, Andrea, do you want to land here? I don't see anything yet, so maybe okay. if we just go a little slowly and see if we find something. Okay, sounds good. Mm. Should I call in a move? Maybe wait? Let's wait in case yeah. something strikes our fancy here. Just going to look at those uh, two that of those gauges again. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, it's all yours. Okay, I'm wondering nice how big ball. this guy is. Uh, okay. X Let marks me get the there. spot. I see it. It doesn't look very cubic, I actually. I can't tell its shape, yeah. Might yeah. be flat. Might be too flat. Oh, what is this critter? There's a critter up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Whatever it is, it has swimmerettes. That's all I have to say about Thanks, it. Thanks, Gabby. Yep. What is that? Okay. Big old shrimp. No, no, you're it just doing big. something else. Deep red. Multitask failure. Okay. Kirk doesn't always require two hands, does it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being dramatic. Oh, yeah, he might He's be a little... Stick shift this guy's probably <laughs> al altered <laughs> and too flat, yeah. Yep. Okay, Roger. Altered and too flat. 
Okay, no dice. Mm -hmm. Roger that. There's another anemone in the sediment there, just below the lasers, mm -hmm. looks like. Oh, yep. Oh, here's a crinoid. How close did we get there? To what? When I was not paying attention. Oh, we didn't get super close. I just wanted to be able to see Herc again, and the winch was closer than panning the camera up. Roger. Yeah, there might be some things. Yeah, if we go a little bit up, we might be able like to see. It like 12 meters or something. There's nothing. Still double digits. Still double digits. I shouldn't have even done anything. No, single digits are not cool. Oh, there's a coral there in front of you in Argus. Yeah. How big is this guy? Um. Oh. I won't know until I know, I suppose. Can we zoom in on him? I don't know. Does he have a baby sponge on him? Can't tell. Which one are you looking at there? Right under the lasers. What is that? Oh, there's a worm. Where? Oh, oh, yeah. oh beautiful. Look what is that? that? Like a scale worm or something? What's that called? Oh, weird. Looks like, it. Looks like a trilobite. It does, it does look like a trilobite. Yeah. yeah. What is it? Oh, it's not, but it looks like a trilobite. It's clearly a trilobite. I could get a nice zoom on it. It's on a hard rock. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, what a beauty. I've not seen anything like that on uh, any of our dives so far. Me neither. This expedition. Chris has begun typing. Maybe he has a <laughs> hypothesis. <laughs> A polyplacophora mollusk. Oh. Interesting. This rock here you're looking at? Yeah, let's see if we can. It's loose. Is it loose? Yeah. Hold on, let me give it full beams here. Group Force 9. A kite. Some rocks are further away than they appear. <laughs> Sorry, Gabby. Coming wide? Yeah, just go wide. Can't get there from here. I oh, okay. kited oh, okay. you. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I got lazy and put myself in stick lock to hold that, so it's half my fault. At least it's easy to find because of, what is it, a chitin, you said? Yeah. Yep. So what is he? He's a, He's a, it's mollusk. a mollusk. Oh, really? With all those segments? Yep. Okay, let's uh, see. He looks about 30 centimeters. 30? You think? I think he's more like 15. Oh, I think he's like, yeah, 10 or 15. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you now. Yes. There, now the rock has eyes. Mm -hmm. What do we think of him? For your regular shape. Kind of cubic, right? A bit kind cubic. Of, kind of fat, I guess. Is. Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, can we put him in one of the small boxes without disturbing that coral? Would yeah. it fit Probably. in E with the big one? Yeah, yeah, what about with the other big rock? If it fits with the other big one and it is doesn't cause trouble with the um with the seal that we did last time, remember that? Oh, there's plenty of room in there at the moment. Okay. Did you get a good enough look at it, did you? It's a little meat on it there. Yep. 
Let's just go ahead, yeah, and kick, collect him. Roger. Oh yeah, tons of room with that other rock there. Okay. Excellent. Some spastic move there. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Zoom on the chitin there. That's cool. Can you get a full zoom on him? I think that might be full. Is that it? Full zoom. Yeah. Nice. Nice one. Right. Yeah. He's in there. Is it going to fit without ripping the sealant off again? I think so. We want to make sure we don't rip the sealant. Um, I am not so. I'm not sure we've got it yet. Not either. I think it's above the. Still think, think so? it's above the edge. Yeah. Um, like just where that, you can see. Run that box out just a little more. Okay. A little more. I don't know. Maybe it's the shadows just playing tricks on me. We can give it a go and see if we hit it. I can play with it a little more. Okay. If I can find the manipulator. Yeah, it's below. You the, think it's in there? Yeah. Okay. I'll give it a go. Beauty. <clears throat> okay. So now we have two rocks for you, right? What? Yep, we have two rocks in the nice. uh, one of the starboard uh, big boxes, which is great. So we can keep the smaller block boxes still uh, semi closed because we have that. Important flyaway oh, coral happens. there. <laughs> How did I end up with <laughs> those unexpected? What's that? I just had my Herkazus was replaced by butt cam, and I just yeah, it's not a, it does that occasionally. Yeah, that's it's not really a camera weird. you ever look at big. Like, oh, okay. Well, that was um, I look at it all an the time. unexpected surprise. Not in, not in big version, do you? <laughs> no. Going in for a <laughs> Nobody ever looks at it as a big too. camera. <laughs> Except that there's a shark there yeah. attacking the tetherball. Um, okay, anything else happen in here? Or do we want to move on? I think we can motor. Let's mosey. Mosey versus motor. All right. Bridge, Nav. Can we please move five right. zero meters, bearing three five zero? Thank you. It's almost like that same target in the Argus sonar. I know. I keep seeing it too. Maybe it's a big creature. Large coral ahead here in Argus view. This is definitely a target. Like that's got that big shadow right there in the Sea King. Yeah. Oh, I love these corals. And there's a cucumber to our oh, uh, yeah. left. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beauty. Oh, I wonder <laughs> if maybe I should use all my thrusters for this. I still don't quite understand. Go for zoom. Steve was saying you can't age these guys by the trunks, but we spent quite a bit of time on uh, in the Pacific Northwest getting uh, bubblegum coral trunks for yes. some reason, and I thought it was aging. Well, aging so them. aragonite you can date with um, uranium series dating, and that you could go even a little closer if you want. Other corals